DeepSeek, DeepSeek, and DeepSeek. Everyone says that's better than ChatGPT and Gemini. So are the American AI chatbots dead? If you've been on the internet for the past week or so, you must have heard of a new AI chatbot from China called DeepSeek. What brought it to fame is that it has similar capabilities to top AI chatbots like ChatGPT, but it's developed with way lesser costs while using less powerful NVIDIA H800 chips. This triggered a panic reaction in the US stock market, causing NVIDIA to lose around 600 billion US dollars in market cap, the biggest one-day loss in US history. Even worse news for American AI companies is that DeepSeek is reportedly using Huawei chips to run its services, reducing its reliance on American supply equipment. But is DeepSeek really as great as what people claim it to be? I conducted a mini comparison between DeepSeek with its V3 and R1 Large Language Models or RLMs with its other two major AI chatbot competitors, including OpenAI ChatGPT4 and Google's Gemini Advanced. First, I asked the three AI chatbots to check an article drive I wrote recently about Nokia and see what comments they have towards it. This is where I got a bunch of server busy replies from DeepSeek, especially when using its V3 large language model. This is probably caused by the overwhelming amount of requests it was receiving from its users and the cyber attack it suffered in early January this year. So I asked DeepSeek to check my article draft using its R1 RLM instead, which answered me in a very human-like way, spitting out its entire train of thought as if it's a person speaking. When compared to ChatGPT and Gemini, I found that DeepSeek gives the most in-depth criticism not only it commented on my article structure, but it also suggested me with potential points that can make my piece more well-rounded. ChatGPT and Gemini's comments were also helpful but were less critical and were much shorter as well. I also like how DeepSeek prefers to list out its answers using point forms and subheadings, which is one interesting similarity it has with Gemini. Next up, I gave the three chatbots a link to one of Alex's written articles and requested them to summarize it. Here, DeepSeek immediately highlighted its inability to access external links and only analyzed the article based on its title as well as some of its previous knowledges. In this case, ChatGPT and Gemini both had a major upper hand. The same trend also happened when we asked DeepSeek what happened to NVIDIA recently. Both ChatGPT and Gemini did a great job in explaining what happened to NVIDIA recently, including its stock market crash as well as the challenges it's facing in the AI realm. DeepSeek, on the other hand, hit another hurdle caused by its knowledge cutoff in October 2023, causing it to not have any knowledge about recent events. So in conclusion, DeepSeek has a lot of potential. I like how it tends to give me additional as well as richer information compared to its competitors. The way it presents data in lists and subheadings is also very, very helpful. And it also doesn't hesitate at all in being very critical in judging my work as compared to ChatGPT and especially Gemini. But you will have to not hate reading when using DeepSeek as its answers can be a bit long-winded. But do note its limitations, including the fact that it cannot access external links and also the fact that it has a knowledge cutoff, causing it to not know a lot of things about recent events. Still, considering that DeepSeek is so new to the market and its development cost is just a fraction as compared to its competitors, the American AI companies definitely cannot afford to just sit still. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. And if you want to learn more about DeepSeek as well as other AI chatbots, do log on to searchinchat.com. 